the verbal exchange that they had on Raw was very good in a storytelling sense. Sammy, you're a bum. I can't believe I lost to you. My father was embarrassed that I beat you and everything. Look at me. I'm special. But that's not a bad. It's not for, for storytelling. They're telling the there's, only story there's you no, tell. There's no you. story there, Glenn. There there's is not a story, a story there. there. Russosbrand.com, where the pros are the pros. Let's, let's go back to for, for when you, for both of us started watching wrestling as fans. Okay. We like the stuff on TV. If it was interesting, if like, you know, we were habitual viewers, but if the programming wasn't good, we would, we would eventually like, like not, we, we would watch it. Right? right. But that was the only way you could, you could watch it on TV. Like there was one Avenue six o'clock on Saturday night, you know, in, in, in Atlanta, you, you had to watch Georgia championship wrestling. If you missed it, you missed it. Like there right. was a, you, you had to right. go get the wrestling magazine. Carry but then like, you know, we fast forward, like, you know, so in the nineties, when, when, when numbers were through the roof, Okay, you know, there was really still kind of only one way to watch the show unless you bought a VCR machine and taped it. Right. Okay, which are all right. Okay, which a lot, so, which a lot of people did. Exactly. Okay. okay. But, there's, but there's, only, there's only one way to watch it. Yes. During yeah. that time slot, which is why so every okay, okay, we can't miss this because you know it is a live show. We have we have to watch it, right? So 2005 and 2006, what happens? 2005, YouTube, 2006, Twitter. Okay. So now, and let's fast forward, you know, okay. But now these are new viewing platforms where people can, can you know, be on television, where people can absorb the content. Okay. Now, professional wrestling is, 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 is not live TV. Okay. And the reason professional wrestling has always, and the bro, and so I don't care what Dave Meltzer says, he t- talks about, you know, the, the stupid numbers and combat, bro. The only competition for, for 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 professional wrestling, okay, because it is also live programming, but it's live scripted programming. The only competition for the wrestling viewers, okay, is going to be live sports, okay, because you don't, you you know, especially playoffs in NFL. Traditionally, that's always been like the thing that you know, Vince's talk about like AEW does bad on a random night because Vancouver played. San Jose and hockey is like, that's the bro. Come on. It's like, we understand when there's interest in a live sporting event and the, you know, a big game, people are going to watch that. That's going to drive us. Right. But wrestling scripted television. And, and because you don't have to view this thing live because it's scripted, you know, you can hear, but you can, you can, bro, you can watch it afterwards. I have, okay. I watch the shows every single week. Okay. I five years now, I've never watched a show live. Yeah, I don't okay, either, not, Glenn. I don't okay, either. A, I'm not, I, so, so we're not, but, but bro, but that's the thing. This is okay. this is what you're, you're you're not understanding. Okay, you we're not viewing it. Okay, so so why are you even concerned with? Okay, well, what are the what are their TV ratings? That's a portion of the viewership of the show. The people that are deciding to watch this live, and you know, common sense dictates. When there's live football on, more people go to watch football than watch wrestling, myself included. Okay, I don't watch the show when 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 when, uh, when, when what you call it's on. But bro, this is the thing that you got to understand. Okay, and th- this is the the realm when, when you're talking about oh they've lost three hundred thousand viewers. I said, bro, it's irrelevant. Okay, because I I sent you that I sent you that tweet that I've I'd researched. You said I'm not going to read it, but. I'm just going to read the last part of this because you you kind of have to understand the 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 depth of this, okay? Because they're on so many platforms now. This is how many people, okay? So I I, I just want to, to AI, okay? Other than and just put this in, other than network television, how many how many views does WWE average on a weekly basis through all forms of media, okay? And basically gives numbers, social media engagement, um. You know, Jey Uso winning the Intercontinental title was reported to have over 42 million views across WWE social media platforms in just under 12 hours. Streaming and digital platforms, YouTube and other platforms, WWE YouTube channels have been noted for receiving nearly 5 billion video views in year in a year in past in past reports. So basically, the, the conclusion of this is that like list stuff stuff everything, but basically, thus, while an exact number isn't provided, WWE's content across all forms of media likely averages in the tens of millions of weekly views when considering every aspect from live TV replays, streaming platforms, to social media interactions. Dude, 
The concept of professional wrestling is always designed. You you've talked about this. What well, I've talked about this. What is your TV program? If it's if it's written based on the model of what you're trying to do, and we 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 spoke of it as a basically a two hour block infomercial right. to drive people to your other things. Here. Bro, they're live events, merchandise, everything that that these numbers of people are driving them to are doing record numbers. The TV met the TV d- d- ratings on a weekly basis do not matter because the WWE already has the money for the TV rights. I understand so that. The Glenn, metric, I understand just under, that. Though you, I don't think you do because the thing is, if the creative is poor, which it's been in the past, those numbers are not going to be as big. The live attendance of bro, the only metric that's important for them that you'll see them they're, they're, where their creative is starting to, to falter is if their live events start de- depleting in, in fans. Until that happens, you're not you, you can think that the show stinks. However, but like I said, I fast forward through my, well, tons of the shit. The girls stuff, the Caden Katana, like they have this interview in the back with these girls. I don't know who they are, these other girls. It's like it's, it's like, you know, not good TV, right? But, and this has always been like like truth. When, when you wrote the WWE, okay, when you walked into the booking meeting, what did Vince want to know? What's the top guys were doing? What the top guys do, bro? Their top guy angles are still solid, okay. So the rest of the stuff isn't really that important, okay. You have to keep your top angles strong, which they've done, which is why their metrics are up, bro. You can Gunther, be critical of the show because you wait, want wait, your- time out, time out, time out. Gunther Gunther's angle is solid yeah, with Sami Zayn. Let me, t- let me with tell you why. Sami Zayn. Okay, let me tell you why. I just before just before I got here, the verbal exchange that they had on Raw was very good in a storytelling sense. Sami, you're a bum. I can't believe I lost to you. My father was embarrassed that I beat you. And everything. Look at me. I'm special. But that's not a bad. It's not for for storytelling. They're telling the there's, only story there's no, you tell. There's no you. story there, Glenn. There there's is not a story there. there. There's there not a story. You, you there. beat, you beat me in a match. That's not a story. They're literally telling the story of this guy does not belong in the ring. The other guy, which everybody can plainly see with their own okay. two eyes. That's, that's not a okay, story. So that's, it is that's, a story. That's truth. That's it truth. Is, okay, that's it's not truth. A story. So, so they're making a story out of the trip because, like, I'm looking at this. It's like, I can't believe this guy beat me last time because you're, he's a bum. Like, and everybody's looking like, yeah, how did this, how did that guy beat yeah, him? Well, because you know, he's, up, so he's like, up hunt his ass. That, that's how, that's yeah, how we beat that's him, not, bro. That, that's not one of their top angles, though. That's like he's a the champion. Guther's the champion, bro. And CM Punk is the main angle on that. Okay, show. I'm, I'm talking about Roy. Roy. the main angle. On the, the, that's the, but I'm saying. And, what, and what's what's that angle? Well, that that it's so, solid, considering the characters you have what's, involved. What's the angle that he took his bracelet? Doesn't that Vince? The verbal exchange is good. They've been they've been telling this okay. story for a period of time. Why won't you fight me? Why won't you fight me? Why won't you finally find the answers? Because my my dad got embarrassed when I lost you because I you don't belong in the ring. This is a bro. It's good enough. And you've lowered the bar, man. Well, I'm I'm not all I'm telling you is my opinion. Okay, my opinion. that but bro, th- th- listen to the people and look at the numbers. Look at the crowds. Can, Glenn, Some can I ask you a question? Some people like I'm not a, I'm not the biggest Sami Zayn fan. Bro, but there are people. First of all, of there's no like way. The there's no way. No, how Evansville was sold out. First of all, no way. It they were selling. They were look, selling tickets at, the week dude, before. Dude, no way. No full. how. It looked full. It doesn't okay. matter. They're, they're, right, they're, let me ask you a question. I, I want to ask you a question. Just quick. You don't watch AEW? No. Bro, just just turn on the channel I understand. for, for I understand. two minutes each week and just look at the amount of people. Glenn, can I ask you a question? You're a numbers guy. You're a numbers guy. Honestly. Honestly, you talk about metrics and this, that all the time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, again, bro, it, it is it is a fact. You can buy followers. You can buy subscribers. <sighs> you can pay at the numbers. No, here's what I want to ask you. Here's what I want to ask you, Glenn. Does, from a number standpoint, does this make any sense to you? You gave me a number. Of 42 million people watch Jey Uso win the title on YouTube. That's the number you gave me. You believe across, across, across various platforms. Across various platforms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You believe 42 million people watched it across various platforms, but yet only 1.5 million people watched it in real time. You you believe like that's not way off to you, Glenn? No, 
And let me tell you why. Wow. Okay. Let me tell, go ahead. Let me tell you why. Let me go tell ahead. you why. Go ahead. Everybody. Okay. You, like billions, billions, and billions of people, but multi- multiple billions of people will watch Russell Wilson throw the interception in the last play of the Super Bowl. Okay. They'll see that. All right. 60 million people watch it in real time. Okay, like that, that that's what I'm talking about. Like the imprint, like when you like, like, okay. like, like, bro, like per, per, per example, a news event happens. Okay, you're watching in real time, like you watch an interview on CNN or something happened. The guy says something, like, bro, th- they'll replay that and way more people will see it. That's the that that's social media these days. That's the that's, that's that, Glenn, you, 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 but 41 million more people. 41 I, I would, million. I would absolutely not doubt, doubt it. Dude, oh, Logan, man. Logan Paul has like 21 million YouTube subscribers. That's where it's kabuki ish to me, bro. You can't but tell it's me. But still, the numbers are through the roof because the guy's worth like a billion dollars. Okay. So it's like, you know, they're like, what do you, those are the numbers that, that matter to me. When you look at how rich a guy is, okay, and you see like his social media, the like he gave you things, like, yeah, obviously these, these numbers add up at some point. The WWE is like 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 the number ten highest YouTube channel on the planet Earth. Okay, but Glenn, you will agree all that does not matter to the network. You will agree with that, correct? It doesn't matter. The the, the uh, bro, the, the 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 network's done with the deal. They can't complain. They've signed them for for ten years. Like so, it's like they, they've got the extended country. They had deal. Like they, they don't. The only time it matters is eight years from now. We'll see what the number, like, like well, the shit that Tony Khan's going through. Let me ask you this. Do you honestly believe that the WWE and the brass, that the, do you honestly believe that they didn't give a shit that they lost Fox? Uh, who, the WWE brass? Yeah. No. Um, and the fact that they have, ne- I, I, honestly, no. Wow. Okay. This is where we disagree. This is where we disagree. Okay, but let me tell you why. Go ahead. What was the Fox partnership good for? Advertising and promotion for sure. Oh, okay, I'm watching the show this week. Uh, Sheamus is at the Georgia Tech football game on NBC. Uh, Seth Rollins is at on Sunday Night Football. Drew McIntyre. Bro, that's not that. Bro, that's that's not. They don't have Glenn, Fox. They have that's NBC not ten. Now. That's not ten to twenty commercials every they Sunday during NBC the NFL, now. bro. They have NBC now. They're married to NBC, Peacock, Universal, NBC. They're doing Saturday night's main event. It's back on TV. It's like, bro, there's a strong product right now. And like the fact that you're criticizing the creative in the middle of the one of their strongest periods makes you sound silly. You're like you're like the analysts on the on the. No, on the, on the so, so, so Glenn, I shouldn't criticize the season the it's Giants fine, had because they made money. Is is bro, that what you're telling me? I bro, should no, no, not no, no, be no. criticizing them because no, no, the no. team made money. This is what you sound like. You sound like the panel, okay, on the NFL, and you're sitting there trying to tell tell us how how shitty the force the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs are, and they're both four and zero, and everybody's going like, well, they just. What? 31 to 12 you're and you're comparing, going like you're and you're, that's what you still like you're comparing the raw roster to the san francisco 49ers no i'm comparing the success of of of, uh, of the wd product to the success of the san francisco 49ers you're criticizing their success of their product so I, when, I so i should be putting over the giants because they made a lot of money this year that's no, what no, you're no, saying no no no, no, no. that's a, you're, you're making up a metric that's that's irrelevant the metrics that we're talking about here with success in professional wrestling because it's scripted television, you put on a product and the numbers that you are drawing from like, like if you're drawing house, if you're making money, that is your wins and losses. That that's your wins and losses in real time for a professional sports team. Your wins and losses are your wins and losses. And when you win more crowds, there's more attendance, there's more fan engagement, and you're okay. probably going to make more money when, when you, you're successful. Did, did you just say like, well, they so, made money, they missed it. No, no. The, the okay, wins, so yours, yours, as, a, as a writer, okay, as a writer, you've done okay. this. What's your goal? As a writer in wrestling, what's your goal? And the professional wrestling, been, it's my, been my, my, my goal is to get people to watch the product. For, for why? So they spend money on the product. Thank you. So so so, so more people come so to the show. Like the, well, but okay, bro, but attendance is a gauge of the writer's performance. Do you understand the rate? The ratings Glenn. applicable. The ratings married to the attendance is the writer's performance. If you're writing a show, okay, and it's getting good numbers, right? But the attendance isn't growing. 
It's like, that's never really happened. Okay, because attendance has always risen with ratings in professional wrestling. Go back in the history. That that that's a simplistic formula. We we don't even have to argue that it's fact. Okay, when the ratings falter, attendance usually falters. Okay, but the WWE, the ratings, the actual TV rating, that one metric of like USA and stuff, the, the whatever. That number has gone down, but their actual viewership has not gone down because millions of people are still watching this on the other platforms because their attendance is going up. That's that's it. That's it. It's just like it's just so simple. The writing is fine because they haven't started to falter yet because they have a couple strong yet. angles on the show and then like it's destroying, destroying the viewers. Yet the well, bad. Okay, well, the, the, I the, am the, telling you, okay, the right, bad television will catch up with them. <laughs> 